So next we'll be looking at the control panel, um, the difference between the stop, the clear all, and the interrupt button. So let's say you have a job already in progress. So if I press start, get this job started. And oops, I realized that I've made a mistake, but the job's already in progress. What I'm going to do is I'm going to press stop. You'll notice that a few copies do come out. That's normal. What's important is that once it actually does stop, you'll see the machine is going to give you the option to either resume printing or cancel printing. It's really important to press cancel printing, otherwise after one minute, the machine will automatically resume. So you want to make sure you press on cancel printing. So you can see it's deleting. The next button is the clear all button. This is really important, especially when you're coming to the machine. You don't want to count on the person before you to have cleared their settings. Let's say they asked for 52 sided colored copies. You really want to make sure when you get to the machine that you're pressing clear all. What it does, it returns all your settings back to the default settings. If I press it a second time and press confirm, you'll see the machine will always bring you back to your home screen. The next button we have is the interrupt button. So let's just say someone has sent a, a print job from their computer or someone has just uh, asked for several copies of something. So we'll just do copies for the exercise. Okay, so they've just sent their job. Now, you come to the machine and you're in a hurry. You just have a quick copy that you'd like to make. What you're going to have to do then is interrupt their job. So you're going to press interrupt. Again, it doesn't stop right away. It's going to give a few copies before it actually stops. Once the machine has stopped, you can say program next job. And to program your particular job, you can press clear all. It's not going to delete their job. It's just going to clear the settings for your job. So you can set it the way you want. Let's say you want it two-sided and you want two copies, for example. So then you're going to place your originals either in the feeder or else on the glass and press start. So once your job is complete, you want to press interrupt one more time. And what the machine will do then is resume the job where you had interrupted it. So no problems. If you forget to repress on interrupt, it's not a problem either. The machine will automatically resume that job on its own after one minute. The services home button will bring you to your home menu. So you may or may not find all of these different features available on your particular machine. It depends how it's been configured. Right underneath here, you'll find the job status button. This is where you'll find any active or pending jobs. You'll also find the secure print jobs tab. This is when you're printing from your computer with a code, which we'll be looking at a little bit later. You'll also find the completed jobs in the third tab. And from here, you can really see if you've deleted any jobs or whether the jobs have been completed, so on and so forth. In your machine status button, you'll find your machine serial number as well as the Xerox support uh, website address. If you go to the supplies tab, you'll see the status of all of your supplies. These are your different toners. And if you want to see for your different modules, you come here and you can see how you're doing with your drum cartridge and your waste container. And if you press on billing information, you'll see how many black and white copies, color copies, and the total of both.